in order to make a swirl ice cream, I like to marble. So here, that's what it looks like. And I'm pressing them together a little bit. And then I'm going to roll them. And then I fold it in half and twist. This is marbling. And then I roll it out again. So now I put a higher degree of twist in it. Just twist, 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 twist. And this is to create the ice cream swirls that you want. Let's say I really like this portion. What I'm going to do is cut a portion. You don't want it exactly square. A little bit of a log there. And then I pinch the ends. Then from here I roll it into a ball. And then we decide what area we like on the cone showing. And I think I like that part facing forward. So we find the front of our cone. And I'm going to dip my cone into translucent liquid Sculpey. So the edges have translucent liquid Sculpey in it. And I am going to place my ice cream on my cone. I'm going to put a link to the cone tutorial in the description box. So here we are, and I'll try to keep this in frame, but I start pulling the scoop down all along the edges to create a little ridge. And guys, um, once you make the perfect ice cream cone, you could make a mold And then I just kind of rough up the edges here. I mean, you don't want it to be consistent or regular. You can push some of them up, push some of them down. So here, we texture. For texturing, I take an old toothbrush. Um, if you have harder and softer areas, I like the softer part, like uh, the tip here is softer. I like using that to actually form the texture of the ice cream and then the harder bristles towards the back and these were like Costco um, toothbrushes I like them for this um, I push them around trying to still keeping it in a round circle but this kind of marks it up a little bit more and put some unevenness in it and then you can even brush it to smooth out some of the texture because when you scoop ice cream you see some of the little um, aeration, I'd say pockets in a way. You see some of that, and then the other parts don't have that. And then I rough up the bottom a little bit with a toothbrush here. And you want to make sure. So here. We have our little ice cream. Sorry that the light is pretty low. Um, I will go ahead and take a picture in daylight so you can see. After you cook, I just varnish only the parts where the ribbon of color come through. I